Hey everybody, it's me again. I just wanted to do a quick little video um, about we didn't play, tis, play, oh, play test this <laughs> at all legacies. I just had a bit of a New Zealand accent just then. Um, this is a game I backed on Kickstarter. I also backed some other games like Flowerfall by the same designer. And this is my little collection. It seems to be growing. Uh, when I backed this in Kickstarter, I got, I also got the awesome Sharpie pen and I don't really know how to focus, I don't know if I can focus on my really cheap digital camera, but it says we didn't play test this at all. Awesome Sharpie. Okay, so this is what the original box looks like. This is the new version of the original box. Okay, and it includes the Chaos Pack. Um, so, ooh, whoops. In the original box, you will have... Okay, so the base cards. And there will be star cards in here as well. And also you will get... Oops. Um, chaos cards. Now, I'll see if I can find... Oh, there it is. Okay, some chaos cards, which look like this. And also some blanks for you to fill out yourself. Um, and this is the new version. Okay, so if you notice that um, the new version's grey, the original version's white, and then we have we didn't play test this either, which is black. I haven't opened this yet. Um, what I like about... The, these cards is that um, they they put the different versions on the back of the cards which makes it so much easier to sort out um, so the original ones look like this and then the chaos ones if I get oh there we go okay so they say chaos pack and um, makes it so much easier to sort, especially if you mix some of the decks together and then you want to sort them out. And yeah, so that's the original. Now this is one we I already opened and played with. Um, ignore the eight dollars there, that's meant to go somewhere else, I made a mistake. But I really like pirates, so I drew a pirate on it. Okay, so in this version you get the rules okay the rules are pretty much the same as the original except in this version you get to write on the cards which is awesome okay so rules are really simple easy to learn okay so you will get the base cards okay the base cards which on the back have legacy so if you mix the decks together you can sort them out again later and you also get four sealed packs of awesome awesome cards so it says do not open do not open this pack of cards until 15 cards have owners on it which means um, an owner which is this part up here or 20 cards have icons which is this part here okay and yeah so this gives a lot of variety to the game okay so um, can't wait to open these up okay really excited to get those open but we have to fulfill those requirements first Okay, so I'll just show you the base card. Okay, I'll just show you this one. Um, so on the card, as I said before, you have, you know, the title and then the owner where you write the name. Uh, you only write the name, you only get to write the name of a person um, if they're the only one that wins the game. So they get to write their name on the last card they played um, and yeah 
and icons are used for certain cards. Okay, so in this card, we've already played this card, and it says, I can't get it to focus, sorry. Oh no, that's no good. Okay, I'll pull it back. It says, play if you just lost. Write the name of the play that caused you to lose. And we have our friend Hendrik here. Place this card on the table. That player is haunted. Put this card in play at the start of every game forever. So whenever I play this game again, this card will go on the table. Okay. Um, I love the humour in these cards. Every single card has a section for you to write the owner's name and an icon. Um, I won't show you all the cards because you'll just have to buy the game just to check it out. It's, yeah, and I highly recommend it. Um, okay, on Board Game Geek, a lot of people have said that they wish this, they wish Flux was like this game. And it's totally true. I really like Flux as well. And um, that's also one of my favourite games. Um, but this game just plays so quickly and, you know, like, the game's over in a minute or two minutes or whatever. And so people lose or, you know, there's a winner. But it doesn't matter because it's just so much fun and it plays so quickly that you pretty much want to play again um, if you like this style of game. Um, yeah, we had so much fun on Sunday. I could have played this for ages. Yeah, I just wanted to, you know, keep seeing what cards would come out. Um, yeah, so lots of funny, funny cards in here. I won't, I won't show you what the what's written on the text, but you know, there's like penguin. I wonder what that card's about. Hmm, lemmings. Hmm, dibs. Okay, so yep. Awesome, awesome game. Love it. And so glad I backed it on Kickstarter. And I'm just kicking myself that I didn't, you know, back it for like 10 copies so I could give it away on, like, during Christmas. No! So I'll just have to order more of this later and just give it away, you know, for people's birthdays and stuff because such an awesome game. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick look at these games and I would have to say so far this one is definitely my favorite um, and I will definitely get this one played a lot more later on because I haven't seen all the cards in it yet and this one I'll leave to you know sometime in the future where I'll open this and be surprised with what's inside oh it says blue cards and dice Ah, blue cards and a dice. Ooh, I wonder what's in this one. We'll have to wait and find out. Okay, thank you, Chris, from Asmati Games for making another fantastic game. And um, this was such a great idea, the Legacies version of this game. Um, drawing on the cards just added that extra fun element to it. And, um, yeah, so much so much fun and definitely my favorite by far um yeah so thank you for watching and see you on board game geek okay if you're gonna ask me which one to get out of the three packs oh i'll just move that over there which one to get oh I don't know, but if I was, if you were me, I would get them all. One is not enough.